Hey everyone, I'm Abby and I'm here at Yoakum Hall to do a live residence hall tour. Um, it's a bit of a construction zone right now, but we're going to embrace it and we're going to take a look around at what it's going to be. Um, out here around us right now, we've got lots of buildings that you're probably going to have classes in that are really close to you, which is really convenient, especially when you just want to roll out of bed and head to class. We've got Walton Hall and we've got yeah, let's take a look at uh, Walton Kemp Hall there. Hall, yeah, the Walton. business building and the journalism building. Right, the journalism building right there. I think Mon and I take a quick look up at the 10 stories of Yoakum. Yeah. So it is a pretty tall building. Maybe I can come back a little bit here and get even more of it in the scene. <laughs> backing up and backing up. It's a big building. I'm it's trying 10 to floors. avoid the camera. Right, it's 10 floors of building there. Great. Okay, let's come on in back tight on you. So there's a lot that we've got around Yoakum that's really convenient for early morning 8 a.m. classes that I'm sure some of you will have. There's all kinds of um, class buildings that you've got and then the dining hall is really close too. Bruff is just right around the corner yeah. on the other side of Founders which is basically right next door. So Is that where you ate most of the time? Uh, pretty much every day, yeah. <laughs> Whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I was there. <laughs> So, well, that's pretty much what's around us right here. Are we ready sure. to go in? Yeah, let's head on inside. Okay. And uh, there is construction happening. That's why you're wearing the hard hat. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's um, so the construction is um, a lot of uh, sprinklers and piping and every floor. Do you... Uh... Infrastructure. Yeah, infrastructure, exactly. Oh, so let's take a view here on this little patio area. It's hard to give that. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask them to us and we're happy to answer them as they come in. Yes. Careful. Careful, that's right. <laughs> There's plenty of construction here. Mm -hmm. And we've got the office, we've got... Uh, yeah, let's look at the office real quick. Yeah. So this would be the main office that we'd walk into. Yes. Hello. Thanks for doing the construction. And here is the front office. This is where you'll pick up all your packages. Um, you'll get an email and it'll send you down here. And mm -hmm. you'll just come pick it up from the lady with your ID. This is also where you can check out cookware. If mm -hmm. you want to be cooking anything, you can check out... Um, ping pong paddles, um, the pool balls, uh, movies, all kinds of things from here. You just bring your ID and it's all for free. So it's really nice. And you arrived here as a, uh, as a freshman. freshman? Yes. The and year 2013 is when I moved in. What was your first experience of Yoko? I loved Yoko. Yeah? I loved it. Why? The community, it uh -huh. got me. So I lived on the 8th floor, room 814 for mm -hmm. who's in that room, but I lived on the 8th floor and became friends with almost all the people on the floor. And we would stay up so late in the night, even on school nights, just talking to 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And it was so fun, we became so close. So <laughs> lots of fun memories for sure. Sure. So let's continue to tour in after going to the front lobby area. We'll check out the first, um, first floor Great room. It's okay. Just right on the corner gotcha. here. See, see a lot of construction is happening here. Excuse us, gentlemen. How are you? We've spent, uh, I think, yeah, $1.7 million putting in some new um, uh, sprinkler ceilings. Let's see, I, they gave me some numbers earlier about like how many miles of stuff they put in and how many uh it was pretty insane what is this room used for abby this room is where they have all their programs there's mm -hmm. also a massive tv that they've got there and there's usually all kinds of furniture that's set up around uh -huh. here so this is where they do an ice cream social that they do usually um, and there's a few other programs that they do depending on the season that uh, the ra's will put on okay it's a lot of fun it's a good way to get free Sure. I got free Chick-fil-A one time. Free Chick-fil-A one time. Wow, okay. Yes. 
Um, what else? What are we going to go see? This is also where you're going to check your mail. Oh, right, okay. So you and your roommate will be given uh, a number, and you will be given a code. And you'll just twist the code and open it up, and your mail will be there, except for packages, which mm. go to the front. There's also a couple different rooms here. Some of them are usually locked. Um, but if you go this room right here, it's not really in use right now. Um, this is a rentable room. You can like reserve it to have yeah. movies. You can use it to have group meetings, whatever you want to do, you can reserve that. There's also another room around the corner that's the same. This is a big room. Yeah, it's nice. There used to be a piano in here. It might be in the other room. Okay. So. Yeah, and just in case anybody's worried, uh, all the construction will be done and finished well before when you move in. Yes, no worries. <laughs> Should we head down to the ground floor? Sure, I, I did get some of those numbers. Uh, so apparently 1.5 miles of pipeline wow. for the sprinklers and 1,024 sprinkler heads went in. 2.25 uh, miles of framing and drywall are part of this project. This All right, so where are we headed now? Uh, We're going to go down to the ground floor and check okay. out the Excuse us. Excuse us, guys. Don't be mental with my yeah, you know, wall. Hey. Any questions that people have as we're moving along through the building? So the ground floor is where the second... Um, entrance is it's mm -hmm. most likely where all the students will be moving in from is the ground floor door there's the laundry room down there oh can you say that again i think because all the, a lot of our students will be moving in yeah they use a, usually use that back door to get yeah, in so they use saying? this ground floor door thanks right to the here. parking lot mm -hmm. okay so the resident reserve lot is right outside and that's where most of the students will be parking getting their keys and moving in sure and so then. they check in and we are doing a move-in demo later through this series that is in August, I believe it's August, yeah, early August. Right here we've got the kitchen. This was completely renovated my freshman year because it caught on fire. So we've got- It caught on the, fire? Yeah, it burned like all the way up, the whole entire kitchen. I don't know who it was, but- <laughs> Was there any speculation among the residents on who I'm it might have sure been? I'm sure there was. Okay, you stayed out of that. Yeah, the whole kitchen was in flames. So oh, wow. we had to evacuate and everything, but the good out of that, we have a brand new kitchen. So yes, new kitchen. <laughs> it's really nice. You've got some stainless steel appliances there. There's also a fridge right here that you're allowed to use if you put your name on stuff, otherwise it gets thrown away or eaten. Oh, okay. They clean it out pretty often, or? Yeah, once a week, I think. Once a week. That's ruthless. It might depend on the RAs, okay. too. Okay, <laughs> okay. So they, keep, they keep a, sh a tight ship when it comes to that refrigerator. I guess so. Well, with 500 some students, it could get pretty crowded in that one little fridge. <laughs> Very so. true. So where are we now? This is the ground floor um, great room area. And this is where there's a pool table, a ping pong table, um, another TV. There's usually more couches and furniture set up in here too. Mm -hmm. um, I've This is where I come during the tornado warnings. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if it's the safest, but this is where I come because I was on the eighth floor. Uh, but there's also a TV there that we stick movies in and watch when the other one is taken and just people come just to hang out here. I met so many friends just by checking to see who's on the ground floor. Really? Yeah. So it's kind of just a social hub where yeah, people Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, furniture in this, uh, in the common areas were replaced in the winter of your freshman year? Yes. So also? the winter of 2013-2014 is when new furniture, new paint job happened. Oh, okay. So it's all very, very new still. You know, it is a pretty fresh color palette as I look at it. You've got the orange and the blue that are... Yeah. Some people are mad about it. <laughs> what I was it before? Do you remember? I don't remember. It was kind of dingy, actually. Okay. It was kind of a... I don't know if it was creamish, but it, it was looking pretty pretty old. Okay. So okay. they, they brightened it up quite a bit, and, yeah. and the furniture really brightened it up, too. So. Let me point out the uh, water facility here we've got you'll see these all around campus if you uh, here at the University of Arkansas you basically just put your bottle right there bam <laughs> fill it up with water we're pleased to have it you get a little count here at the top of how many uh, we helped eliminate always an important thing we uh, bring your water bottle right yeah you have a water bottle that I do you carry? Uh, yeah. it's not with me but I do <laughs> <laughs> it's nice because that water is cold and it's filtered so it's good water sure 
Well, what should we see next? We're going to check out the laundry room next. Okay. So we're going to walk around this way. This is also where you're going to throw away all your cardboard boxes down here. Okay. Not in the laundry room, but down here on the ground floor. And we can show you that too. Sure. So this is where like, all your trash comes. This is where the laundry room goes, which can lead to the laundry room being kind of stinky. <laughs> uh, hey, Mikey. Thanks for joining us. Let us know if you have any questions. So we're still on the basement floor? Is that right? The ground floor? The ground floor. Ground floor. So here's the laundry Okay. Let's see it. Lights are not working. Lights are not working. Okay. So again, we're under construction in this area. So it'll all be better by the time you move in. Yes. But what we're seeing there is a bank of laundry mat yeah. things. Yeah. A lot of washers and dryers. And there's a little picnic table back there too. I'm walk in a little ice machine. Have you ever sat at that table, Abby? Oh, plenty of times. I watch <laughs> Netflix on that table. Keep you watch Netflix? Yeah, keeping an eye on my laundry. Well, did you watch it on a laptop? Yeah. Okay. I had too many clothes stolen to trust to leave in my laundry. I see. Which brings me to my next comment. Well, tell us a little bit about... Um, laundry Alert. Well, yeah. There you go. So, Laundry Alert is a system that will come in the fall for you guys. And you pull it up on your phone. And they'll tell you what washers and dryers are open and which ones are taken so that way you know that you can you don't have to waste 10 flights of stairs just to come down here and try and see if there's laundry open it also will email or text notify you when your laundry is done so if you've got laundry in there and you need to head to class you can head to class and it'll text you when your laundry is done so when you come back you know it's ready um, same for if you just want to go upstairs but you enter in your phone or email and it'll tell you when it's ready it's really nice because there are some laundry thieves and you can, it's a good way to keep an eye on your laundry because you know the doors lock when it's running so they can't open it in the middle of a cycle but that way you know when it's done and it's really convenient. And that's a brand new service here, like yeah. this is the first year we're rolling it out. Um, Mikey asked how big is the building and we can say what, 530, around 530 mm -hmm. students, 10 floors. Yes, it's pretty big, there's lots of students but in a way, each floor becomes its own community, and it's really fun. This would be an example of one of our traditional yeah. uh, residence halls as opposed to sort of a suite or semi-suite. Um, and uh, yeah, traditionals are kind of, everybody lives pretty close together. All right. Okay, what else are you going to show us next? We're going to go up, pretty much what's left on this floor is just the, I think it's the CRE, and then, um, I don't know, there's a bunch of storage and stuff okay. like that. So we can go up to the 10th floor. Sure. Right? Now CREs and RAs, CREs are um, adult professionals who live in the buildings who kind of oversee and make sure that you know everything's fine. RAs of course are students who work for housing and sort of represent um, and lead, do a lot of leadership development with uh, the residents who are here. Yes. So and we're headed up? Yeah. Um, the RAs are really cool too. I'm still friends with mine today. Are so, you? Yeah. You want to give her a shout out? <laughs> no. Okay. She's probably not watching. <laughs> so uh, we're going up to floor 10 yeah. and uh, that's the very top of the building. Yeah. And we should see some pretty good views from up there. Yeah, it's a beautiful view. It's a lot of fun. I love, people think living up high is not going to be good because you have to travel all the way down. And yes, waiting on the elevator can get annoying, but waking up to that view every morning was mm -hmm. not frustrating. <laughs> right, so, right. Not a terrible thing. Hopefully the Wi-Fi stays with us while we're in the elevator and go up so many floors. I think it will. Oh. So anybody who's listening, are you uh, staying in Yoakum this uh, August? Are you moving in? We'll see. <laughs> It does say my connection is weak whenever I'm in here, but only for a little while. A lot of people complain about the elevators being either slow or one of them always being broken down. So just a fair warning. I don't know if that's still true, but it was very frustrating my freshman year. Plan we, accordingly for classes. Right, right. We always have, you know. Um, we can check out the study rooms first. Sure, let's check out the study room. So we're on the 10th floor now, yes. up at the very tip top. Is that the new lights? These are the new oh lights. God, awesome. Yeah, let's so check them out. So floor 10 is the furthest along in the construction. 
and these lights would just give an incredible illumination to the area. How, what would you what would you say is the difference as someone who lived here? It's just brighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels more like an outdoor lighting instead of fluorescent prison lighting. So <laughs> it's not bad. The test floor is also an all girls floor. Okay. So just keep that in mind. But everything looks the same. Every study room is the same, um, and every room for the most part is the same. So this is one of the study rooms here. It also got new furniture. New and furniture, it's yeah. And a new paint job. Right. So, so this is kind of a white, almost cabana site, or wooden, white nice style, big whiteboard. The great ideas of tomorrow will show up on that whiteboard right These there. These study rooms get used. There, there's always somebody in them. I slept in here my finals week. You did? So I did. <laughs> there's a lot of times where people will just come to hang out. Our dorm rooms can get kind of small and crowded with all your stuff in them, and they can get messy. So coming here and having the furniture and having a bunch of people in here is a lot of fun, especially, I mean, if you can Let see Let me see that view, view. yeah, <laughs> let's, let's go out there and take a look. So if you live on a co-ed floor. Big windows. If you're on a co-ed floor, this is the guy's side. This is the view the boys will have. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's point out some things if we can. Well, let's there's a the Fayetteville High School football field right there. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see that. And you can see Harmon, you can see Walker Hall, uh -huh. you can see a business building. Yep. Um, if you go that way, you'll be able to see Kemple. You will. You so can you can see, see a lot of Fable from here. You can see Dixon. Sometimes you can even find Mount Sequoia if you look hard enough. Really? Back there, yeah. Wow. It's really cool. Yeah, you bet. So would it be fair to say that this is the center of floor level get-togethers? Yes. This build, this this room right here. Yes. Because there's one on each floor. Mhm. Mm That's cool. I'd say that, and people float from floor to floor too. We had a Nerf gun war. One year. Do what? We had a Nerf gun war one year and used those rooms and people were. Running were you on the winning floor. side or were they? You know, it's every man for himself. Every man for himself. Yeah, okay. Sure. All right. If we could do uh, 10, 10 and 10 and 11. 10 and 11. Give us an example. Okay, great. Because one of the things we definitely want to show, of course, is the bathrooms. We also want to show. Uh, what is it called? The pipe shape? No, the it's, um, loft room. The loft room. That's uh, a room that sometimes gives some confusion, and so we want to be sure and show that to you. Um, let's do the bathroom first. Okay. The bathroom is right across the hall. Okay. And then we'll do the rooms. Again, we're taking questions, so if you have any questions, yeah. let us know. I don't think anybody would be in here. Let's see. Okay, so this is one of the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Now, for the most part, look the same. I don't know if they've redone all the bathrooms, mm -hmm. but mine, the eighth floor looked a little bit different my freshman year. Uh, half of the eighth floor. So you kind of have, have the sitting area here? Yeah, it's really nice. And it's lockable too, so you don't have to worry about someone coming in. <laughs> Madeline asks if we can go to room 1022. Is that her? Kent, you want to check 1022 and see if we could if we could go in there or not? Um, He'll check and see if we can do that. So what else do we want to look at in the bathroom? Of course, here we've got don't what? Turn it that way. Okay, <laughs> okay. In the but we have uh, we have all the things that you have in the in the bathroom. Yes. And so let's head on back out. Each floor has two bathrooms too. So like, if you're on a co-ed floor, <laughs> Emily asked us to go to room 618. Emily, unfortunately, we can't go below floor 10 right now, but again, they'll all be done by August. They're all identical too. Like, they are. They, they will are. Look so exactly there's not the same. Like, the difference, I guess, the difference is the uh, the loft room. The loft room versus the normal. Mm -hmm. But even then, do are we going to show one of both? I think we're going to show one of both. Okay. Yeah, well, we're... then they look identical from there too. So all okay. the measurements will be the same. All of your decorating ideas will be the same and everything. Sure. So. Do you want to uh, go ahead and head in? Yeah, one more note on the bathroom. Yeah, please. So for co-ed floors, there's going to be two girl bathrooms and two boy bathrooms. And then for the all girls and all boys, depending on which gender, it'll be four of uh, all girls or four of all boys. So there's always going to be at least four showers and there's there's always one open. So I just don't want anyone to worry about that. Kira asked, is the first floor an all-girls floor? Um, you know, it, 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 sometimes it changes year to year. I think it's different depending on who all's living here. Yeah. Uh, 
So we're not, can't be entirely sure just yet, but I can check and see for you, Kira. Thank you. And welcome, Tigran. Glad to have you. You want to check out Tenshin? Sure. So this is one of the locked rooms, then, right? That's what it's called? I believe so. But this um, is the one that was not my room. Okay, okay. It's the kind of the newer renovated And, and you have the tape measure, is that right? Right. Yeah, so this one's the newer, like, kind of renovated, I guess. Room. Okay. So this would be an example of the... Of the, this would be for the lofted because it's yes. got the TV in it. Yes. Yeah. So let me show you this example of a lofted room. Um, let me see what the best way to get a good angle is. Let me go here first and then come out this way. So you get, uh, you could see kind of that column in the middle. Would you explain kind of what we're seeing? Yeah. So we've got, there's a closet built in over here. Mm -hmm. And then. Oh, let's, let's give them a little view of that closet. And uh, let me turn on the light. Emily asked us to turn on the light. There we go. So there's the closet. The shelves are movable. Oh, yeah. Okay. The other one looks a little bit different, I believe. Um, all of these rooms come with the TV, too. Right, they come pre-installed with the television. And um, this year we're moving to digital cable with Cox. So you'll have all the HBOs. Here's this closet. Mm -hmm. It's similar to the ones that we saw before. Okay. And this one is movable. There's not, you're kind of limited on where you want to move it, but it is movable. It is movable if mm -hmm. you want to move it. Great, and then and we'll take in this one. Go ahead. Yes, as I say, then it also comes with two dressers. And so those are also movable depending on if you want your bed lofted. A lot of people in this room do loft their bed to a bunk because um, you're limited on what you can do with the furniture. So you're limited on what you can do with your desk, which is also currently tucked up in these beds. Um, so yeah, then there's also a desk that has some drawers and two desk chairs that will come with it. Do you want to open up that dresser and let them see what's in there? So this comes with the room. Yep. Yeah. It's quite a big dresser too. It is. So. And then um, I guess that's the, there's the desk area right mm -hmm. there underneath. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if this probably isn't necessary, but a lot of people what they'll do is loft it up to a bunk mm -hmm. and then uh, have their desk and their dresser under there, and that makes it one massive desk space. And then they put their fridge like around the corner or put a shelf there with a microwave on it or something like that. So, gotcha. You're kind of limited in this room, but it's all brand new furniture and it's all very doable and it's all um, really nice and it's wood floors. It's really nice. And this one, it looks like it's already got the lofting right mm -hmm. there. So you yeah. can go um, up all to that level right there, I think. Yeah. yeah. And it depends too, like if you want to, because this will flip upside down. So if you want it lower than what it's at now, this will flip upside down and that can be lofted lower. Uh, Tiffany asks for a measurement. Um, measurement of bed from side to side not a uh, measurement of the mattress. So the frame. So I think she wants the frame measurement. Making a headboard. 37 and, wait, 37 and 32. Yeah, 37 and a half, Tiffany. Okay, let's head into one of the rooms that is not a lofted. Unless there are any other questions about the lofted rooms, we wanna make sure that you understand what, what they are and how they work. And you have a huge window bay here. Oh, it's we'll open awesome. up. We'll open up the other one when we get to the other room. Okay, okay moving on. This one. Okay. Is that the one we were? She asked about. Uh, 1022 is exactly like this. Okay. Except the closets are on the right and stuff the left. Okay. So 1022. Um, we can take a quick dip in there. How far away is it? At the very end of the building. The very end of the building. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a quick dip in there, just so she can see it. Uh, how, it's just this of our. All right. We're heading down to 1022 for you. As long as we're on 10th floor, why not, right? Let's see. That's the RA room. There's the RA room. You bet. No worries. We appreciate you tuning in, Madeline.
how do we know if our rooms are lofted? Um, they come, well, these ones I do not think need an additional piece to loft. So this is 1022, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure that was the one we were going to go into. Yep. Okay, we're heading in for you. Okay. So this is the typical style room, right? Yes. yes. Okay, great. We'll just use this one. Great. So this would be a non-lofted room. So you get a sense of it. I'm gonna just gonna kind of do a 360 here. So you get your bed right there. I got you right there. And this area. Can we open the blinds? Yeah, go ahead and open those blinds for us so we can see that stunning view on the 10th floor. So this is not movable furniture. Correct. The other one's on the other side. I'm not gonna crawl. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fine. That's fine. And then you have all this cabinetry in here. Do you want to just take us through the? Yeah. Yeah. So each side gets two small drawers like that, and then three of the big drawers. Okay. And then there's also cabinets up top. Yeah. And then you've got each um, has a closet that has two shelves and a rod for your clothes to hang on. Alex asks if both beds are twin XLs. And yes. are these the, these are the 80s? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So 80 inch sure. XL. Um, yeah, let's just verify. It says 78. But that's, 78. Um, does that I mean 80? For the mattress size? Yeah. These that would probably be 75. 75. So they'd be regular twin. They don't look regular twin. This one has to be because of the door. Mm -hmm. It has to be shorter. Um, this one might be. Yeah, let's measure it. <laughs> when in doubt, right? Madeline asks Is there a place you could install a tension rod if we wanted to put up curtains by the window? And let's see if there's enough clearance there to do that. There is. What was your what was your measurement there? Yeah. It's it's 78. I would say this is a log long plan, but they can confirm that on our website. We have all the the exact sheet measurements uh, that they need on our website. We do. It looks like the one nearest the window, uh, Alex, was a 78. So um, that would be an extra long twin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that one is not. It's a regular twin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is what's the regular twin? 75. 75, 78. So window side 78. Um, door in, side. Interior side, door side was 75, mm -hmm. right? And then the. Yep, let's see out the window. Can you go ahead and pull it up all the way? Yeah. So, yeah. What are we looking at here? Well, we've got the track sheet. Starting over on the left. Yeah, you can see Bud Walton Arena, you can see mm -hmm. Pomfret, you can see a couple um, of the houses, you can see Buck Droke and Glad Rip, you can see the track field, you can see the Hyper, you can see the practice field, you can see the Razorback Stadium. Okay, let's go over there to the Razorback Stadium here, I'll go on the other side of this. So there she is, there's Razorback Stadium right Lights there. Lights up red on game days, it's really fun, because you can see it from here. You can, you see all the excitement of game days happening. Right from your bedroom. Uh, the Hyper, we should go ahead and point that out. That's um, the white building right there. Yeah, that's the white building right there. Uh, that is our you know, first class um, gym facilities. Do the windows open? I am thinking. They yeah, they open from the side like that. Okay, but there is mesh there, so no one's rolling off. And it's but, yeah. not removable, so don't try. Yeah, don't try. You're up very, very high. But yes, the window does open. Um, Let's see who, there was a question about, from Madeline, tension rod. about tension rods. Yeah. yeah, so you can, I can measure it for you. I have yet to find a tension rod that big. Okay. But I have seen people do it before. Um, you might just need to get creative. Right. Will that tape measure go that far? Yeah. Okay. It awesome. It is about 130 inches. 130 inches yeah. is about the width of that. And then, I'm um, sorry, the uh, yeah, width. And then what's the depth, would you say? 51, and, oh, 51, 15 and a half 15, inches. But you're gonna wanna clear the 
the the blinds, I guess, first. Yeah, so, but so maybe twelve. Would you say? No, that's just fifteen. Fifteen clearing the okay. Fifteen inches clearing um, the blinds. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Got a couple more questions that came in. Um, uh, Emily asks, can you control the AC in the room? No. No, you cannot. Um, it's sort of set per, f per building. Well, did they add that? Because now does this. My freshman year, they couldn't. No, no. It's, we, um, it, it, it pipes through all the building. So it's either uh, all hot or all cold. Okay. And we make the transitions um, twice a year. Yeah, during those transitions, it gets kind of uncomfortable in here, but... It's okay, it works. We use um, sort of a, a typical date when we know that the temperature is going to change in a certain way, and that's when we make our changeover yeah. from heat to cold and cold to heat. Um, and you know, if it's an unseasonable day, then it might get a little bit, a little, little less than comfortable. Um, but we do try to keep things 72. That's sort of the standard we try to always obey. Um, so let's see alex asks is there a kitchen on each floor no it's only on the ground floor but it's that brand new kitchen that we showed you earlier and tina asks, what is the height of the window the height i guess is the one measurement we didn't get yet yes. so we got let's get it we'll get all three and these are should be available uh at housing.uart.edu under campus communities and um you could look at Yoakum and find the dimensions. What was that dimension? The height dimension? And a half inches. 58 and a half inches. Okay, that's the height. Uh, Kathy asks about closet measurements. And again, those are available online, but we'll go ahead and get some, some basics for you. We certainly don't mind. Forty-six and a half. Forty-six and a half width. And, and then, then uh, I guess we could do a... Do you want height for curtain, maybe? Kathy, do you want a height for curtain, or...? I don't know the best way to do this, sir. Let's see. Maybe you can help her out there. I'm going to come back a little bit here. You got it? Yep. Curtain would be about 90 inches. About 90 inches you for the curtain. Give or take, okay. how you want to hang it. Sure. So get that measurement from the shelf to the ceiling. Oh yeah, from the ceiling to the shelf is 20 and a quarter inches. About. 20 and a quarter inches. Okay, great, great. Okay, so we've got those measurements for you. A couple more questions coming in. Um, Brooke asks, how do you know if the beds are lofted or not in each room? The one we saw on the orientation tour had the railings going much higher. Yeah, um, that, you can loft any bed. So, um, these frames are new. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen these, but um, it the bed can go higher than this, can't it? Yeah, it can go all the way to, to the top. Yeah, so uh, if you want it lofted all the way to a bunk, you can definitely do that. You would just put in a, a maintenance request online. Is that on the housing homepage? Yeah, I'll, I'll link to it uh, in the Facebook thread, but also you can go to housing.uart.edu on the left hand side of the menu items, you'll find something called Fix It Maintenance. And if you click on that, it's gonna take you to a form where you can make a request to have lofted. Yeah, so just when you come in, when you move in, and you decide that you want it lofted, you'll just pull up your computer and you'll put in a maintenance request. Cause you have to type in your number and everything like that, so. Uh, Mergen asks, Mergen asks about um, is, the same measurement for the windows in the lofted rooms. And did we get a measurement yes, for the windows? Yeah, okay. the windows are the same. Okay, and then uh, Georgia, who came in, I think a little late, wants to see a loft room. We really want you guys to understand what a loft room is, so we're happy to just go back and look at one of them. Is there one right here? Should be right there. Let's just, let's just head in there and then we'll finish off there. That way we can give everybody a clear view of what a lofted room is. Under construction, right? <laughs> yeah, we found one. Great, okay. So now we're headed into room 1017, if that's anybody's. They were originally called lofted rooms because 
these are the only rooms that were supplied with the loftable beds. Oh. Um, that was prior to the uh, beds being replaced in the rest of the rooms. So now all the rooms are loftable in terms of beds, but we just call these the lofted rooms. Okay. I think the main detail of the lofted room would be, of course, you get your own TV installed, but then you have this sort of wall, this sort of, it comes out yeah. from the door. So I can't get a little closer here to give you a better view and of it. This, this room has all movable, movable furniture. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, except for that, that cabinet back there is built in, which is a, that a right nice there. feature. Built in cabinet, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, we'll say uh, one more question. Can we see a quick view from the doorway of a normal room? And we'll do that real quick and then we'll finish on out. I'm trying to get your last questions in because we're going to in this one here pretty soon. We're so thrilled that you uh, chimed in though and asked us these questions. We like it. Um, Kira, only the lofted rooms come with a television. Otherwise you can bring your own. Mm -hmm. So here would be a view from the room of a regular one. Okay. So I'm going to walk in and give you one last view of it. We've got this area up here, and then of course this desk area that's sort of fixed right there. The wet, the window side bed. And then the detail here. Okay, um, so Molly asked, is 809 lofted? I think it would be no, no. no. because only those that end in 10 are lofted, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the list on the website. And the list is available on the website. Uh, Tavari asks, do you guys know which bed is bed A and bed B in a regular room? Um, I'm, we're not entirely sure, but I'll get the answer to you. Tavari, I'll reply to you in the comments. Uh, Georgia asks, is there a space to move the desk that is not under the bed in the loft rooms? Yes. Um, you guys might need to, you and your roommate might need to work that out because in my opinion the only other place to put your desk would probably be up against uh, the window area or um, the wall that kind of pokes out. So most students today will just go ahead and loft their bed all the way and put all their furniture underneath it. Um, but if you don't like that there's something you and your roommate can work out but you are limited a little bit. Okay. Final question. Riley asks, can you measure the height between the shelves above the desk? Yeah. And that's how we'll finish up. Thanks, everybody. We'll give you that amount, that, that, that value so, there. Ceiling to the first shelf is 24 and a quarter. 24 and a quarter. Can you measure the height? Yeah, you bet, Georgia. This one is 12. The first mm -hmm. shelf is 12. And the second shelf is 10. Okay. Go from the desk to the bottom of the bookcase. Uh, let's see. Is this what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is 14 and a half. Gotcha. Thank you. And yes, the uh, the doors are, uh, Michelle, they are, the uh, chairs are fairly new. They can actually pull apart. We don't have to demonstrate. Okay. Actually, do you mind demonstrating real quick? So they do pull apart and become two pieces. It's kind of a cool thing. Uh, you might end up using one as sort of a rocking chair. Uh, you're going to see a little dust on it. We'll have all that cleaned off. Don't worry. Again, we're in a construction site. Um, so, anyway, that's how it works. Yeah. This is Yoakum Hall. And uh, thanks for tuning in and letting us uh, show you. Um, what you guys in the fall. And you had, you had a great time here, right? Your I first year? loved Yoakum. I recommend all my incoming friends who are freshmen, I recommend Yoakum to all of them. It's my favorite. I'm a little biased though, so. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Abby. Yeah. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.